folks, welcome to Food Trippin'. It's your man, Cali Chris, San Diego's favorite son. I am here with Chef Pebbles. Yay, hey y'all. Where are we at? We are at the biggest sensation to hit the city in the last decade. This is Afuego 100 times 35. Yes, Look at the yes, map. Yes. Puerto Rico. Who are we here with, though? Jessica. Listen, <laughs> owner, operator, listen, the greatest person that you will ever meet. You come in here, it's always vibrant. Dances, the music, the food is amazing. <laughs> But let's get into how we got here. Pebbles, take it away. Yes. So, hello. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Thank you guys for uh, being here with me. Yes. Yeah, so, um, tell me a little bit about your beautiful restaurant. So, um, from top, I, I, I was living in Illinois, and my son, my oldest son, Jamie, comes in, calls me from work one day, and he goes, uh, Mom, I have a coworker who saw my lunch and uh, asked me if I can have some for him tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, sure, no problem. Half an hour later, he calls me back and he's like, Mom, I just saw about 30 lunches. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> like, we're not, we're not selling lunches right, here. Right. He's like, oh yes, we are now. There come, the, there we start the the idea of the restaurant. Okay. I have family down here. Um, who have experience mm -hmm. uh, with restaurants and everything, so it was no brainer. You know, I wanted one. They had the experience. I had no clue about anything, and we moved here. It, it just happened within weeks. Okay. So when did you get started? So we got here. We walked in August twenty second of two thousand twenty one. And we were able to open on January 12th of this year. Okay. Great month, January, yeah. by the way. It's an amazing <laughs> month. <laughs> so, 100 by 35, what is the meaning behind that? See, the map here is beautiful, whoever did this. So, oh. what does it mean? So, the map is our collaboration. Uh, we had Ms. Uh, Katie and Mr. Culturally here, and they collaborate to get this beautiful uh, mural done. Uh, the 100 by 35 is the size of the island. We're a oh. small island. We're 100 miles long by 35 wide. And, you know, it was something that I want. It was a little piece of the island that I wanted to give everybody so they can start looking, you know, for more information about us and everything because everybody walks through the door and they're like, you know what a fuego means, but... What's the 100 by 35? Mm -hmm. I get that question a lot. And it's like, well, why don't you go ask when you go in there? I'm sure they'll explain it to you. Now, let's get to the food. Yes. Mon pastel. Just trust me, y'all. Just trust me. What, what, is all, what is that? It's just it's good. So, it. so um, we, have, we, we have many, many traditional dishes in the island. Of course, you know, we, we come, we're foodies. We're very, very foodies in the island. And you have people who uh, have moved on, ev evolutionate, if I said that. You know my English is not very good looking, so I always try. <laughs> we're good with it. We're good. Um, so, you know, from, from one place, they try to, ev ev I'm trying to say that, evolutionate. From, from, uh, from good to better. Okay. And... The mampoteo, it's a combination. Like we have white rice, plain boring, like I always say. And then we have our stew beans. That is in another level. So they just combine it. And, you know, you start, you add bell peppers and you add the bacon. We have in the island people who add pork to it. They add skirt steak. I mean, name it. But we, you know, we wanted to go very basic with what we have here. Okay. I'm going to give you the secret. When you get it, shout out to Chris Shipley. <laughs> <laughs> get the stew beans. Pour it over. Flavor marriage that you did not know that you needed, but I promise you, it's amazing. Yes. It's amazing. What do you think is your best seller here? Definitely the roasted chicken mm. and our signature sandwich. Yes, 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 okay. yes, yes. So what's in the signature sandwich? Oh my God. In the signature sandwich, we have it's Rafael, pastrami, chicken, cube steak, jamon. No. Oh, one second. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 
Is that much flavor packed in the sandwich? It's a man? lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot of flavor. And I and pork. Of course, we have pork in it. I'm so sorry. That's great. Because we great. have we have 17 different sandwiches, so it is a lot to remember each good. one of yeah. them. Uh-huh. Yes. <laughs> Another secret, folks. When you get the empanadas, get the chimichurri. Just trust me on this. Just that's all you got to do. Trust me. I promise you, it's that good. I know. We had somebody here for breakfast, yes, uh, Saturday. Mm -hmm. And they were like, yeah, you know, we want the omelet with this and that. And a side of chimichurri, I'm like, wait, what? (laughs) You want chimichurri with your omelet? Okay, yeah, that's fine. (laughs) That's so good. The flan. I love tiramisu and cheesecake. Those are like my two favorite things. But then cheesecake is like right here for me. When I tasted that vanilla flan, baby Jesus himself came down here and oh touched this before the plate came to me. It was that good. The angels were surrounding me as I was enjoying it. It's that good, folks. I promise you. There's no cap here. Like I promise. It is that good. You must get it. I don't care how full you are. You have to get that. I promise you. Once you take the first bite, the fullness goes away because now you're stuck on this. You got to finish it too. It's, that's all I got. That's all I got. And then from we start with the vanilla flan. Mm-hmm. From the vanilla, it was funny because we start making cheese flan. Okay. But it's cheese. And people were like, no, thank you. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, do you think it's just a piece of American cheese on top of right, the vanilla right. flan? Like, no. So that became like our number one. Like okay. as soon as people start giving it a try, mm-hmm. who? Yeah, how did you get people to try it? Oh, we we sample. Okay, yeah. Yeah, no, no. Every mm-hmm. time, every time we, I, I, I have found that word of mouth yeah. have been our only ways to survive mm-hmm. here. You know, being family, small, mm-hmm. uh, literally hidden uh, down here in in. Word of mouth. So every time we add something, every time we bring something new, I sample it. Okay. I sample it two, three days. And usually people start commenting. They take pictures. They mention it. So others, you know, start asking for it. Okay. So that's our way to introduce items. Okay. So we went from vanilla to cheese, from cheese, coconut. And our latest mm-hmm. one is the Ferrero Rocher. Oh, okay. You heard yes. that right. Okay. You heard her Ferrero Rocher. Come on now. Who yes. else is giving you that? Nobody else is giving you that. You're only going to get that here. You have to come try this. Now, what does it mean for you to be able to work with family? Because not everyone has that opportunity. They can work in restaurants, but to be able to work with your family in a restaurant, what is that like for you? It have been, it have been challenging. Challenging because we all have different personalities. Mm-hmm. We, 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 have, uh, we have different backgrounds. Okay. Um, and and coming together every single day to adjust to each other and not even with personality but cooking mm-hmm. you not even want to see when we try to make recipes when we first walked in of course you know the way we cook is that you know you just pour a ching ching yeah. here a little yeah. bit there mm-hmm. whatever your heart tells yeah. you to put in mm-hmm. and there you go yeah. voila magic happened <laughs> but we were like, no, 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 we have to make sure we have consistency. Mm. We have that same flavor every single time. Um, this last week was very hard for us because we have our uh, second in command okay. uh, down in Puerto Rico with a funeral. So it was like, we have to make sure we make this right. So when she comes back, mm-hmm. you know, we, we don't hear nobody saying, oh, there was something, you know, not tasting the same way. Mm-hmm. So recipes for us, it, it almost caused us to shut down. Oh, wow. Because it, it was that hard. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, I just throw in the same thing I do always. <sighs> How you translate that from half a cup or... or, or a, me, I know. Yeah, exactly. Because we have the same way. Yeah, cook the same way. Yeah. And yeah. then when you realize it's not the same all the time, <gasps> and you want it, you want it to be the same all the time. You know, actually focusing on how much 
it, yeah, it's challenging. Th- very, mm-hmm. very, very challenging. Mm-hmm. So we we made it. We survived that part, mm-hmm. and everything had been beautiful, wonderful. But that first couple of weeks, trying to make everything, you know, in writing. Yeah. I lol. <laughs> she made it through. And it has been consistent every single time. I'm here a lot. And I'm big on consistency. And every single time, nothing is wavered. It's perfect. Um, what else did I have for you? How often do you go back home? Yeah. Oh, um, we have, well, I, I used to go maybe once a year. Um, my husband tries to go two, three times because he has his parents down there okay. um, and all his family. Uh, but having the restaurant, we have two ingredients that we can't find here in mm-hmm. South Carolina. Um, I, I have been able to find one of them okay. in North Carolina and, or Florida. Okay. But I won't use it because it's frozen okay. and I like it fresh. Okay. I heard that. Uh, fresh. Yes. Not frozen. <laughs> uh-uh. Nope. So, because of those two ingredients, um, and, and one of them, it's a very long leaf. Okay. And the smell of it, when it's fresh, the smell is so strong. Mm-hmm. It's incredibly strong. And the other one, it's a sweet pepper. Okay. So, I go every three, four months. Okay. I just came back about, I was about three weeks ago okay. with it. Okay. So cool. What are your future plans? That you can give on camera. I'm going to give you a secret. No, 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 no. no. I, I, I want to grow. I definitely want to grow. Um, a lot of people have been asking. We, believe it or not, we have a lot of people from Greenville. A lot. We had a couple, I was about a month and a half ago. They came for the first time on a Friday. The next day, we were having a roasted, a whole roasted pork uh, pig, I should say. And, and they came back the next day. So they were like, it's, you know, worth it. They loved it. So a lot of people from Greenville, um, Augusta, Georgia. Yes, a lot of people. I mean, every time, you know, I like to touch every table. Okay. And, and you know, and ask how's everything and, and get people's opinion about it, uh, you know, about the service, about the food, about the place and everything. And I always ask, you know, where are you guys coming from? And I, like I said, Greenville and Augusta, Georgia have been the two places that people say, oh, a lot, a lot of people say they're from there. So definitely want to grow. Okay. Customer service is unmatched. <laughs> Nobody else has better customer service. I promise you that. Like every time you come through these doors, you literally become part of the family. As soon as you open the door, it doesn't matter if it's snowing, raining, whatever outside. You walk in here, it's vibrant. It's a lot going on. Music, dancing, everybody's loving on you. It's, it's amazing. You have to come experience this. I promise you, you'll never forget it. Yeah, so um, where can they find you? 7320 Broad River Road okay. in the city of Irmo. And uh, we're here Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Serving breakfast on Saturday, Sunday now. Um, and we just had our first Latin dance night. Mm. Miss you, but Ooh. we'll have another one because it was no, incredibly good. It was a very surprisingly good because we we don't have alcohol yet. Okay. See, I wanted to stick first with you know family uh, atmosphere and everything, and that first one was like, let me see how this one goes, and I was like, oh maybe it, it might be go be slow, mm-hmm. but no, it was really good. So yeah. definitely gonna keep doing those. Yeah. Social media. Facebook. <laughs> I'm always on Facebook. Um, I'm the only one who answered the, the, the messages, so <laughs> please bear with me. I'm just one. <laughs> um, Instagram, I try. You guys know what happened last time I was on Instagram. I'm going to go in there. But TikTok, ooh, I'm, I'm old. I can't do so much TikTok. <laughs> I tried it. Mm-mm. <laughs> TikTok is a, you know, it's, it's interesting. It's, yeah. it's a little different. You know? <laughs> go on Facebook, listen, they're accessible. She yes. always responds to everybody. They're always <laughs> posting anything you need to know is posted there. Yes. And they keep it up to date. I'm telling you again, make sure you come experience this. There's nothing in the city like this. I yes. promise you that. Thank you for having us. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you guys for the opportunity. I like I mentioned many times, appreciate you very much. <laughs> thank you for coming. I hope to see you yes. along yes. here. For Jessica, Chef Pebbles, Shaman Kelly Chris, we'll catch you next time on Food Driven. Bye, y'all. <laughs>